Hello, everybody. My name is Professor T, the singer-songwriter from Buffalo, New York, and this is a Powered by Vibes artist feature. I got started making music when I was a teenager. Um, actually, I started off making hip-hop beats, which, I could, which you can actually still see on the Power Is Back YouTube channel. If you go back, you can see around 2011 I started doing that. And my friends from school, they actually would come over and we would make songs in my basement. I had like a little makeshift studio set up I had it going. See, I kind of, I've been doing this for a long time. And then from there, it was my interest in like making hip hop beats and, you know, doing stuff in the basement that made me evolve and evolve and wanting to do more and more with recording music and to what I do today. I started making my own music, um, like I said, back in high school. At first I just made the beats and I just wanted to rap, but I just honestly got bored doing that and I wanted to do some stuff that was a little bit more sophisticated. So that's when I got more into like arranging things and um, adding the horn parts and doing like a full band. And um, it was actually interesting because it was a little group I started when I was in high school, the West Side Slide Tribe. Some people know I play the horns. I'm a trombone player and I also play a saxophone player. And the Slide Tribe, it was a trombone quartet that started as, a, as something we did in school. And I was writing the music for that that we did. It started off as just we were arranging covers. Well, actually, we started off as something that our band director in high school, Mr. John Hasselback Jr. Shout out to Mr. H. He gave up. He uh, was the one that kind of inspired that. He started off giving us the music to play, like full jazz sets and whatnot. And then kind of from there, that evolved into us like doing arrangements of pop songs and rock songs and that turned into us writing our own music and I was the main one when we started off doing that that wrote music just because I was the oldest so that's kind of how I got started in writing my own music uh, what other artists and things in life inspire me I would have to say the artist that inspires me the most I would say is like Earth, Wind & Fire Michael Jackson uh Pretty much most of like the kind of black pop music that came out in the 80s I would say is an artist that inspired me um, for just things in life you know things like this just being out in the beautiful nature and how beautiful that Western New York is like you just get this like crazy sunset view like this it's just that's what I would say inspires me the way I've evolved since I first started as a kid, I was always a very timid and bashful child, but kind of from doing this over the years, it's definitely helped me to open up and come out of my shell a lot more than when I was a little kid, because like, you know, you just, when you're on stage, you really can't be shy, you can't be timid, you can't be bashful, so it's like, that's, that's how I would say I've evolved the most. I mean, if I were to say from a musical standpoint, how I even only was doing hip-hop stuff or just rap to doing all of the genres I do now, I think that that's something that's the biggest evolution I've made there. What I would say has changed about music in my own lifetime that I've seen, and it even is kind of recent that I've seen this. It used to kind of be a thing where everybody in the pop music scene, they had their own thing. Like there was a, a, everybody had a sound that you could go to if you wanted a specific sound. There was an artist to go to. And now everything's kind of all melded into just like one sound. Everything's got that trap kind of a sound. So it's like, I would say that's how I would, I would see that um, music has changed. And you know, the thing is, it's not necessarily a bad thing. So I think that trap and hip hop is really cool, really complex. It's just that, I think that it is different because of the fact that everything kind of sounds the same nowadays because of that influence. Music scene in my area, music scene in Buffalo is very close knit. Like if you play a certain type of music, at some point soon you're going to meet everybody else that plays that type of music. So it's a very close knit music scene. Um, 
the only things I would say, I guess that would be negative that I wish was different. I uh, always see enough people collaborating with each other around here, so that's something that I think is something I hope changes soon. And I hope that I can even be part of that change, for people to collaborate with each other more. But in general, things are very close knit, and there's a lot of opportunities to play live music here. There's a lot of opportunities for people that are into music to listen to live music as well. I hope people get out of my music. It's something that I purposely do with my music. I try to make it so that everybody they can get something different from it. Because I try to, I don't really make stuff very specific. I make things kind of general and universal, and I like people to put put it to like as they think it means to them. That's what it is. That I hope people can get from my music. I hope that when I write, since I use the the writing tool of allegory, which is like you're you're writing about one thing, but you actually are talking about something completely different. That allows things to actually be quite universal. So that's what I would say is um I hope people can get. I hope that what I'm writing about, people can take it and relate it to something that's going on in their own life. And that what I'm saying about it can be inspirational to help them get through it. What I'm listening to right now, um, for doing my reaction videos and just everything, I like to find like weird stuff I have never heard before. Right now, what I've been listening to, I've been listening to like a group called The Apex, spelled the, and then A P X. Uh, uh, they're like a. Kind of, they play like a kind of an old school funk sound, so I really like them because of that. I was listening to like another little indie group called Nikki and the Dog. I've been listening to a lot of uh, Caroline Polachik, I think is how you say it. She was a singer from the band Chairlift, who I was a big fan of for a long time. I've been listening to her album, it's been really cool. I've been listening to Shura. So, so that's what it is that I've been listening to lately. That's what's been in my playlist the most. Well, from the stuff I've been listening to right now, I've definitely learned a lot about the vocals because, like, I specifically will say, like, listening to Chairlift and then listening to Caroline's album by herself. The way she approaches vocals is so different. Like, she, she just built different. So I learned from listening to Caroline's stuff is that, like, you can be more creative with it. And, like, it doesn't necessarily have to be words. It can be sounds. But I would say I'm trying to improve about my music right now is definitely my own vocal performance. Vocals has been the thing I've never really been all that comfortable with. It's something I've been trying to learn more about and really improve at. So that's why I would say I've been trying to improve with my music now, just the vocal performance and just overall the technicalities of how I perform what I'm doing. I actually have not been playing live lately because of COVID, but I'm hoping to do some more of that very soon. I'm hoping this late summer and fall, I'll be able to do some more of that. Something interesting about me, people would never guess. The problem is, in my opinion, I don't really think my life is that interesting. I mean, <laughs> the never guess part, I would say that what my new day job is, people will probably never guess it. I actually work for a facility around here that does automotive crash testing. So that's my day job. Instead of recording music, I'm recording cars crashing. The power is back.